you were like on Twitter what Frankie Muniz was a couple of years ago. Do you remember when Frankie Muniz trolled that guy? He said, you're pathetic. And Malcolm in the Me's like, yeah, I care. I'm worth $300 million. I remember you replying when I first started you going, I'm partying with women in Ibiza. Like this, you yeah, really have lived I didn't, in- Yeah, I think I just put up a picture, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I think we, it's just weird. We take Twitter really seriously, don't we? And people say things, you know, in a, in, people say things to public people and, and they're generally offensive or massively and we all seem to get upset by it. And instead, I think, you know, we need to work out what's going on. There's people are saying those things are probably quite lonely people alone yeah. in their bedrooms, mm. probably with their trousers down by their ankles. <laughs> um, writing five nasty words and I could either take it seriously or I could say, you know what, life is pretty good and I'm lucky and, you know, and a laugh at myself for even considering taking it seriously. It does <laughs> so mean that you, because you've taken that stance, it means you can't troll anyone on Twitter? You can't troll politicians now because you're like the guy that, you know. You, you can usually, you? <laughs> you usually reply to bad tweets. You don't usually yeah. have a shot at people. No, no, I don't know. No, I wouldn't. No, I don't think the world is worth trying to get in some kind of cycle of being horrid to people. Yeah. And if ever I do have a go, normally my, my tweets are normally taking the piss out of myself yeah. as best I can. But if I am doing it to them, I normally then direct message them and say, I hope you will take this oh, for, in a lighthearted way. Because, you know, because otherwise they're going to get thousands of my own uh, psycho followers, um, perhaps, you know, being horrid to them in response. And I don't want any part of that kind of cycle.